or in the beginning, it's going to be pretty risky to do this because you're going to end up with probably a lot more EHEX and a lot less PHEX. And because I believe that PHEX will become the dominant one price wise, um, I'm probably not going to be bridging my EHEX over to provide liquidity until a lot of the initial selling is done. So I'm going to wait maybe a month or two before bridging over my EHEX into the Paul Chain ecosystem and then do an experiment where I, I bond some liquidity and I see how that works. So this is all based off the initial assumption that P hex becomes the main active hex. And I've really never seen out of all the forks in every single ecosystem, all the forked blockchains, everything that, I mean, it's happened over and over again. I've never seen the market favor two ecosystems at the same time equally. You know what I mean? Like hmm. it can happen where Ethereum e hex can hold some value based off of being primarily bonded in liquidity to hex on pulse chain. That's a possibility, but again, that's unprecedented. So this will be the first time anyone's ever done this. And I would like to see that. I think it's likely that it could happen if the origin address eats a lot of that cost at first. So if the origin address is the primary eHex PHEX liquidity provider, it can scoop up everyone else's eHex. And rather than having to sell the price down in US dollar terms, it can give them mm -hmm. PHEX instead. I think this would be the ideal play, but for the layman like you and me, bridging over early is not necessarily wise because you'll end up a lot, with a lot more of the coin that's worth less and a lot less of the coin that's worth more. And even with the incentive token, I question if it's still worth it in those very early days. Now, after we flush out everybody that would have sold their eHex for PHEX and after everyone's satisfied for the most part with their bags of eHex and their bags of PHEX, then yeah, I'll probably bridge in some liquidity and that sounds like the safest pair to me after the initial, after the initial, what I predict to be E hex dump and P hex pump. I, I think I heard something. I was talking to someone the other day. I heard something interesting uh, about, you know, would there be parity otherwise? And uh, I think the point that came up was maybe the market will be pricing in how cheap it is to do stakes and things like that. How, how, you know, the, the benefits the pulse chain network gives us for hex maybe it'll be pricing that in to come to, to evaluate what the price of eHex should be. So maybe eHex will be a little bit lower, but it'll be in the same ballpark because uh, of the newer, faster, cheaper network. I thought that was a uh, interesting view too. Yeah, it is cheaper, but there's no liquidity. There's no bridges. Like it's no infrastructure. So yeah, it is a bit cheaper and a bit faster. Pulse chain will be even cheaper and faster than ETHW. Yeah, for, I mean, yeah, that's what I was saying for Pulse Chain on it. Um, yeah. 